What is an MITM attack? A man-in-the-middle attack is a cyber attack where the attacker secretly relays and possibly alters the communications between two parties, inserting themselves in the conversation. They will be able to intercept personal data from a user for replay at a later time. What you will need You will require Kali Linux running on a VM app like VirtualBox, Metasploitable running as a separate VM, Etacap and Wireshark running on your Kali Linux machine. Finally, you will need a third device with a browser, attempting to log into DVWA on Metasploitable. Etacap minus G. This starts up the graphical version of Etacap. Two, start up Wireshark, as we will need to sniff the traffic that runs from the client to the Metasploitable server. It will run on the Ethernet Zero interface. So, I have the Metasploitable server as the target, a Windows machine off-screen that is going to log in to Metasploitable. Kali Linux running Etacap is going to intercept traffic to find out credentials of the user. Use the Ethernet Zero interface. Click on the tick to start sniffing. Click the eyeglass to scan the subnet. Finally, click the list menu to see the list of scanned devices and IP addresses. Select target 1 as Metasploitable. Select target 2 as the Windows machine that is going to log in to Metasploitable DVWA. Click on the globe icon and select ARP Poisoning. ARP Poisoning, also called ARP Spoofing is the process where the Kali machine takes over the address of the router. This allows it to listen to the conversation between the Windows machine and Metasploitable. Go back to Wireshark and start up the capture on your Ethernet Zero interface. This is where you will sniff for HTTP traffic. Wireshark is now running and capturing conversations of devices on the subnet. I am logging into the DVWA app on Metasploit with the username of admin and password of password from the Windows machine. In the background, you can see the green lines in Wireshark HTTP being generated as I log in from the Windows machine off screen. What can you see in Etacap? We have already just seen, Etacap has sniffed the username and password of the app. However, Wireshark has also captured the details. Filter the packets captured using the HTTP filter. Look specifically at the post packet. Expand the layer 7 portion of the capture and what can you see? Because you are logging into an unsecure app over public Wi-Fi, your credentials have now been exposed. When in public, coffee shop or airport for example, never log into any sites without first logging into a VPN. But certainly do not log into sites without a certificate, HTTPS. Thanks to Gman for another easy to follow video. Thank you for watching. See you again.